I'm Ava Lopez Chavez. I'm the newly elected council member of District 4. District 4 is from South Temple to 8th South, 4th West to University Street. And it's this beautiful rectangle in the center of our city. I call it the heart and soul of our city. Our residents have so much hope for the growth that we are seeing in our city. And we want to do it in a way that's smart, that's this acupuncture development where we identify housing need without sacrificing our neighborhoods. I think this is a huge opportunity that I see as a council member uh, to exercise my powers in a way that actually uplifts that, that history of our neighborhoods. These have been working class neighborhoods that have raised families, that have been places where immigrants have come and left their mark on our city. And we wanna continue that legacy. I think we're hungry to enter into this new era of Salt Lake City and define it, define it in a way that undoes injustices, but also expands on those access to opportunity that we talk about, whether it's education, childcare, job opportunities, or entertainment. We want everybody to visit our downtown and to feel safe. We also want our neighborhoods to feel celebrated and to identify with the rest of our city. You know, when I talk about service, for me as a kid, I saw many injustices. I share my family has had a different history. There were migrants that came over that had to um, fight for access to, to workers' rights, access to a proper education, healthcare. And I think as the closest branch of government to our people, to our neighbors, um, since I was a kid, I have seen these injustices stop and create barriers for people. When I came back to Salt Lake City, I was the first one to be born stateside. I was born in Salt Lake City. And almost 30 years ago, I saw my family get pushed out. They moved to Idaho. So a decade ago, I got, had the ability to come back to the city I was born in. And I was immediately accepted. I felt like the beauty of our community was that we treat it as a family, a chosen family. You know, I'm the oldest of four in my family and I talk about it. I'm, I'm Latina, I'm, I'm proud of my Mexican heritage. And it's something that I bring these values of family first, familias primero, into this story and into my policy making decisions because I think it's something that identifies with each family in our city that we're able to promote and progress. So when I talk about service again, it's in service to our families. It's in service to my young sisters. I have a little 10 year old sister now that I look up to. And I think in every decision that I make, what is something that's gonna help the incoming generation so that they can have that daily life can be just a little bit easier for them, whether that the transit that they're taking to university when the time comes, or access to air, uh, proper air quality that they breathe every day, or the economic opportunities to become a future homeowner, to transition from renter to permanent resident of Salt Lake City. These are the issues that we face as a city, and I'm excited to tackle them. I have so much hope for our city. Uh, and I hope that the energy that I bring to City Council and the diverse background that I have is able to amplify that for our community.